down on purpose. Oh. We're on location. Yay. Guess where we are. All right, let's. We're at our retreat site. Woohoo. We're here at uh, Wilderness Adventures at Eagles Landing in Newcastle, Virginia. This is where we have our Wilderness Fiber Retreat every year in October. No, you do. Yep, coming up. Yep, so give all the deets. Yes. Oh, right now? Well, no, no, just uh, what we've talked about so far. You mean last night, our planning secret stuff? No, not planning our secret stuff. The dates. Okay, October the 4th through the 6th Six through, through the 8th. <laughs> Friday through Sunday. Registration is opening on July 8th. Oh, we're hoping. So yes. stay tuned for that. Yes. Um, and so there will be overnight passes that open up first with an early bird registration. And then day passes will open after that. And we're expecting a sellout because we're hearing, and here comes a big boss. Uh, hang on a second. Bye. Bye, boss. <laughs> So, um, if you haven't been here, please plan to come. This is a beautiful location. Uh, I'm going to put some videos and pictures at the end of some things that are around the um, property. And, and maybe a little yarn bombing pictures. Yes, yarn bombing Because that's what we're going to be doing next. Uh, that's what we're doing this afternoon. And um, the... Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, oh, it's flying around the room. But down there where we just showed you is where we're staying. Oh, it's yes. A, it's a new venue. Yeah. We're used to um, being in our own little house, but this time we've got the big lodge. It's got a, a full-service kitchen. And it's got a huge, huge area. Gathering for area. And we just had a delicious breakfast. I had cheese grits with a bunch of yummy toppings, eggs and beans and Southwestern. avocado. Southwestern. And last night we had yummy food. What'd you? I had the Wah Burger, which was... Uh, fabulous um but this morning i had the french toast casserole which was enormous i probably won't be eating lunch today even though they're feeding us for coming in they invited us to do this yarn bombing so um we're happy to do it yep what was i gonna say i was gonna say something. i didn't no, I forgot, I forgot oh, earrings so oops um don't bring your own food um because there's no place to store it and we went up into our room last night with our snacks and there were signs everywhere that said this will attract undesirables into the lodge. So we're going to check possible, and see if we can bring a big cooler. I don't yeah. know. We've got to we've got to work out those details. But. but hi, I'm editing now. So at the end of the day, before we left the lodge, we found out that we do have access to a refrigerator, so we're not going to need a cooler. Um, you can bring food and store it in the refrigerator. Um, you will still not be able to take food up to your room, so, um, and it just keeps critters out. We, we don't want to uh, invite any unwanted guests into the lodge. The, the, there's food, the food is delicious. But do bring a bar of soap for the shower because I didn't do that and I had to use the sink soap this morning. Well, it still worked. It worked, I'm clean. <laughs> okay. All right. What are you wearing, Robin? I am wearing my finished Kitation by Casa Pinka. So Love the colors. this is out of Emma's yarn. Look how it's see-through with the back light. I know. Pick that cool. up again. Look at that. That's really cool. So um, I'm going to get hot here in a minute, and I'm probably going to have to take it off because it's quite warm out here today. When we're here in October, we've got these beautiful, cool October mornings, and then it warms up during the day. Um, but yeah. yeah so i am wearing um this is called the artesian by romy designs beautiful um it's made with my yarn crawl yarn designs it's a blend of wool and silk and yak and I don't know if you can see is it. this the black pearl uh, the tahitian pearl tahitian yeah pearl. but it's got like this cool little short row thing and i'm also wearing a shawl sandwich by Twin Mountains. It's the monster leaf, and I thought this one looked nice with the, it. It changes pretty. colors. I love it. It's gorgeous. Yep. And it's my shawl on. Um, these are from Katrinkles. Can you see they've got knitted stitches on them? Take that. Next time. Okay. All right. 
All right, so um, now we're gonna take our shawls off. Yeah, because it's warm. So I hope that everybody is having- it's stuck um, on my earring. Oh no! Help me, help oh, me, help oh, me! Oh no! Wait a minute. You're Go gonna ahead. take your earring out. Take, your, take my earring out? I got it. <laughs> got it, Never mind. <laughs> Bloopers! <laughs> you know, we're always having to take something out that you've done. Really? Last time you flashed everybody and they had to take <laughs> that out. <laughs> you don't have to take this one out. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll fall off the stool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so what you working on? I am. Oh, wait, you know what we haven't done? We haven't introduced ourselves. Hello, I'm Ellie from House Mountain Yarn Company in Lexington, Virginia. And I'm Robin from the Knit and Coop in Salem, Virginia. We started this podcast. This is our third episode. This is our third episode. So one a month. Going well, well, we're late this month. Usually, it's the beginning of the month that we yep. do it, and then. So who knows when July's will pop out? <laughs> we didn't promise what day of the month. No, we didn't. We just no. we're we're making it in the month that we're in. So this is June. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring over a whip. Whip. Okay. All right. Keep the show going. All right. So. <laughs> she, she just leaves me like this and look at that beautiful lodge back there we're gonna have that entire lodge to ourselves mm -hmm. in october and the food here mm, we've said it before it's delicious all right i haven't started using this color yet but look at this color it's That's got pretty. neon little pops in pops it. in it because it's gonna go with these two colors oh. That's highlighter yellow. I mean, highlighter. <laughs> yeah, this is highlighter pink. pink. That's my favorite, favorite color. I can't wear it very well, but I think I can wear this. The well, gray tones it down. So, I don't know if you can see this. This is a Stephen West. It's got this crazy middle spine. Can you stretch it a little bit? But don't pull it off my knee. See the needles? It's I see the needles. That's the spine going down the middle, and then I'm going to be picking up stitches. It's a crazy, crazy shawl. Been working on it for a while. Gwen and I started it together. Well, but it's going to get done one of these days, and I just wanted to share it. They're, they're, we just have a fascination with, I have cast on itis. I mean, I just see all I the do. pretty things, and I want to cast it on. So Your turn. It's a turn. <laughs> all right, so my whip. Oops, I'm supposed to be talking and running the show while you're yeah. gone. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. You get a good shot of the yes. lodge, and it just is a teaser to get you to come in October. So every time you see us go away. That's what it is. Check out our luscious accommodations. All right, so every year at the retreat, we choose a knit pattern, crochet pattern, that will be our year-long knit-along for the next year. So this is the 2022 shawl. This is the Wildwood shawl. Did you share it last month, too? I did, but, but I'm it's almost grown. done. I'm almost done. I am. I'm too ashamed to share mine. I'm about You're way six farther rows than you. from getting finished. Look how so beautiful. This is Get it closer to... This is Aster Fiber Co. Grandma's Couch, Glacier, and oh my gourd! Oh my gourd! Oh my gourd! And that's what color I'm on right now. This is. Yeah, I'll hold it while you pull up. All right. So this is oh my gourd. Can you see it in there? It's the stripes. This is Glacier, which is a beautiful. I like that one. That one really blend. Pulls it and all then together. This is Grandma's Couch. And believe it or not, Vanessa. When I was first married, back in the day, that was I had the couch. It was a, it was a hand me down gift couch. It it was. I was glad for it to be gone because it was not comfortable. It I couldn't get out of it when I was pregnant. Bad Oops. bad scene. Um. So next month, I bet you, you'll see it'll be done. A finished. Thing. It'll be done. It'll be on, and, and I've got so many things I want to start but I'm trying to work through the whips and get those done I've got two advent calendars that are still not done one from 2021 and one from last year we have to have a confessional show and gather them all up. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait we're doing we're doing we're whips just, yeah Ooh. what else you got I got something good oh you got another whip I didn't bring another one I brought one more <gasps> this is so pretty so my friend Chat took a picture of House Mountain that we're named after, and this is the picture she took. 
I don't know if you can see it. You see, that's yeah. House Mountain in the rain, in the spring. You see those little um, red that's buds? That's beautiful. And then Cat and Penny from CZM Yarns. Which one's the dyer? Pen Cat. Cat. Penny's the business person, right? Uh -huh. um, she took that picture and turned it into yarn, which is so beautiful. And this is what it looks like caked up. So pretty. So all different these, than the skein. Hold it next to yeah. the skein. Look. All of these uh, will be in the show notes at the bottom. And I'm turning mine into a sock. Look how pretty. It looks even more different when you knit it. So this pretty. sock is called Petty Harbor. It's a free pattern that I found on Ravelry by First Light Handcrafts. Links in the show notes. So that's my second whip. Yeah, I didn't bring another whip. It's okay. I, I was, I, I've got a truck full of Coffee things break. for the yarn bombing. Okay. All right. So now we're on to FOs and I'll start that. Okay. So the first FO, which you saw me working on in the last two, is Twist and Turns by Stephen West. I have entered that in the Salem Fair. I took and dropped it off on Thursday. Are you going to post a picture? I will. Okay. I will. So I dropped it off on Thursday. I will not know anything until I think Tuesday they will announce the winners and then we have to pick up, the, the non-winners have to pick up their stuff. So we'll see. I entered. You're seven, not going to get to pick yours up. I, I don't know. There's some good competition out there. <laughs> I have been talking this up at the shop to get people, you know, you work all winter long on these beautiful projects, enter them, get some recognition for them, at least just see them out there because we work so hard on it. And you, you know, you might wear it once in a while. Maybe you don't wear it, but having people see it. I think we have a county fair coming up that do it. We can still enter stuff in. I'll yes. find out details. Yeah, so enter, enter, enter. <coughs> um, you know, there's the State Fair of Virginia that happens in Richmond. That's- Have you ever done that? No. It's anybody across the state. The only other thing I've ever entered is some of my hand spinning. And in fact, um, there's a sweater hanging in the shop that is my Lanwinog hand spun that won second place at the Fall Fiber Festival in Montpelier. And I can't remember the year. I think it was 2008. That's fantastic. That's a big event. I think. Um, but yeah, that's... I wish they would do fiber at Salem Fair, and I could talk to the organizers and see, but hopefully uh, we'll just fill that auditorium with lots of beautiful things. Okay. All right. What's your... Uh, we're going to go back and forth, so you do your, uh, your uh, FO. This is another yarn crawl with Tahitian Pearl. I had a knit sample, one single skein, and a crochet sample. That's such a beautiful color. And this... It's pretty easy. You can see it's just a bunch of double crochets and chain ones in the middle. But the, the beautiful part. It's on the end. It's on Look the at end. that. It's like a sun ray. Mm -hmm. So it's just a nice beautiful. light scarf that you can tie up and show. Boy, Jess, here comes another car. So yes. And they have to take this a break. This one's not a truck. No, it is a well, truck. Well, it's a truck, but not a truck truck. <laughs> It's a baby truck. It's a truck. pickup truck. <laughs> it's a baby truck. So yes, one skein. And also, while I'm showing you these two Tahitian pearl things, we don't have this color anymore because it was special for the yarn crawl, but we do have this yarn. It's not on my online store, but if you wanted to get it, you could call me and we could work something out. It is so pretty. But I'm these are the colors that are non yarn crawl colors. I'm gonna try to post pictures at the end uh, that I took. Uh, hopefully they'll show look at the, this one's my favorite yeah pull that one out this one is let's see if it shows look yeah. at all the blues and the purples and the greens and the grays yeah but they all have little gorgeous that yeah. would make a beautiful fade mm -hmm. beautiful fade your turn all right so we have the yarn crawl pardon me just a moment ellie show it's time for the ellie show <laughs> <laughs> ellie's showing her yarn crawl color Kendra, oh, that is your yarn. Kendra rocked the world. Well, she rocks it every time. But I had the idea to do sunrise at McAfee's Knob. Her husband James had gone up, taken a picture, and she showed it to me, and I'm like, "That's it." So 
when you look at this, I want to make sure, hey, I've got it right side. This, the pattern is Break of Dawn by, forgot, <laughs> I'll put it in the show notes. But look at that. This is exactly what the sunrise at Maccabee's Knob looks like. I mean, the, the, the blues, the purples, the sunrise, and this pattern is just perfect. Mm -hmm. She had a poem that went with it called Song at Daybreak. That was absolutely very special, phenomenal. So um, I'll link this up. It's- uh, Do you have any left? No, I sold out with four day, five days to go. We took pre-orders. Pre-orders have already been received and shipped. And that's um, it. And that's it. Um, next year, we're already working on next year's idea. And I'm excited because I've sent her husband James on a recon mission to get pictures. So cool. yeah, it's gonna be awesome. All right. What else do I have to Back share? Back to the other show where I get my stuff. Na, 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 na. Um, <laughs> sing a song. Sing a song. <laughs> what was my song last night? Oh no. <laughs> There was this really great band playing last night. They were deadheads. Deadheads. They were awesome. There was a lot of tie dye. And yes, there was. A lot was. of special smells, but we <laughs> were we were inside. So the stage is outside, and, and we we're like the on the lights. Yeah, on. we're on the inside of that stage wall, listening. It's nothing dying. It's ice breaking. <laughs> and they they played mostly dead or Grateful Dead songs, Grateful but dead, they mixed dead, it up um, with um. The talking, talking heads, heads. <laughs> jinx, and and then they did this Paul Simon song. I can't remember which one. It was late in the evening. Yeah. <laughs> that one, and I was working on those socks that I showed you, and I changed the lyrics. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny. I didn't get any video of it, but um, we're gonna do that. Lynn and I do that all the time. We just like switch up the lyrics. Robin for... doesn't sing. Nobody wants to hear me. Yeah, I couldn't it's get bad. her to sing. We were drinking some wine, and even that didn't loosen up her vocal cords. Uh, no, it might loosen up my feet. No, I'll, I'll dance. I dance like Elaine on Seinfeld. <laughs> I should have made you dance last night. <laughs> All um, right, I share did, something. Go I ahead. did forget one of my whips. It's down uh, in the truck, but I we're doing the national parks knit along uh, all year. So I've been to 11 parks. I need one more to go. I'm working on saguaro in the daytime, and my number 12 hat will be saguaro at night, so I will have one hat for every month of the year. The one that I'm working on now, I think I said saguaro at daytime, and then one of my FOs is the Rocky Mountain hat. We have that one in the shop. Chat made it. It looks so, different than yours. Uh, I'm using... They're all unique because you... Yeah. I'm using Encore for the most part, but this is some of my hand dye that I've dyed. Nice. Um, but, you know, it's just... Look at the fun. flowers along the edge. I embroidered the little flowers. The tags you can get at nancybates.com. You can get on her website. And it just makes it really special. And I have them hanging in the shop. So I've got Swaro. I've got about 10, 12 rows left to finish it. And that will be it. Okay. And now, for the dudes. The dudes. I wanted to make a song for this that we could sing together, but. Ooh, All right, wait a minute. So if there are people who, <laughs> spoiler alert, if you haven't finished it, sorry. Stop, but press stop now. Yeah, this is, um, uh, Casa Pinka, jeez, it's on my head. Imagine Landscapes. Imagine Landscapes, Sarah Shira, her latest MCAL. He's got a big old schnoz, but he's got feet this time. And he's got a square little bottom. Yep, got a square little butt. But just so cute, little tassel, uh, mosaic. I wonder why your hat's so much taller than mine. I don't know. Did you do some extra rows? No. Oh. Different gauges. Yep, but it makes it fun. Yeah, it does. Yours, ha yours has got a dimple in his butt. Oh. <laughs> you know what's in here? Okay, so inside, you have to weight them. What's yours weighted with? Uh, mine has a hacky sack in it. Nice. Mine has cat litter. <laughs> oh! 
<laughs> Is that, that the only that thing was, that was the cat litter poking out of his behind. <laughs> but he's got it. He's got Feel it. He's, oh. It's in a bag. It's not just loose flying in there. It's not used. <laughs> Thank goodness. But yeah, that's his weight. So, a lot of fun to make. Um, I always have fun making the nose. Oh, that was so. a grackle. That was a grackle. I, I did not find it. <laughs> I have a bird app called Merlin that you just record all the birds singing and it tells you what birds they are. Mm -hmm. And that was one of them that it said. And then I just saw it. I, w I use it on my deck to um, call in the birds. And so... I'll sit there and uh, I'll know what birds are around and I'll play it and they'll come and they'll sit on the railing and they'll I don't think in. you're tricking the birds. Well, they'll look, they will look and go, you ain't no bird. <laughs> I don't think they're fooled. I don't know. They come, they, it's like they're going to hurt me. Um, are we trading on this next part or are we just going through our lists? Let's just go through the list because it's going to be too confusing yeah. if okay. uh, we go back and forth. So you go ahead. <clears throat> All right. So, so now we're on the section of the show called upcoming events. And here are my upcoming events. All right. Hang on here. I think there's a bus coming. Oh, chatter, 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 chatter. Oh, this is the big bus. Yeah. Big bus is coming. The thing that they have going on today is they've got a bunch of... Oh, no. He's um, not coming. Oh, okay. They've got a bunch of Boy Scouts that are going out on hiking trail. So I think they're getting ready to take all them out. Upcoming events. Here we go. Um, next week on Tuesday, I'm having a trunk show that's going to be in the shop for a month um, for Zen Yarn Garden. Ooh. And it's my third year doing this. And what they do is there's probably only one or two skeins of like hundreds of colors. I almost said thousands, but it's not thousands. Um, so I'll just have all these hand dyed yarns in lots of different colors that will be around in the shop for a month and then we'll go home to the wherever they go. Chunk shows are great. Yeah, so my whole fingering section is going to be filled up with right, excuse me, wild yarns. <clears throat> I gotta go get my water. Go ahead. All right, I'm going to keep talking while she does that. Um, and then on Sunday, July 9th, we are having an afternoon at Rockbridge Vineyard from 12 to 3. Um, they usually have live music, so we're just going to hopefully, if the weather's nice, sit out in sun and knit and drink a glass of wine and listen to some music. Mm. So, Rockbridge Vineyards is up in Rafine, so north of um, the shop, about half an hour drive. Been there. And, Beautiful. yeah, it's really pretty up there. It's really scenic. Um, I'm having a dye workshop, hopefully, on July 23rd. This is, the, we're still working out the details, but... Beetle, who dyes all the Beezines yarn that I just showed you for the yarn crawl, is going to be doing a dye workshop, and um, we're going to do that on July 23rd from 2 to 4 p.m. I think that's a Sunday, so we're doing it when the shop is closed so we can make a big mess and not have to worry about people tracking through dye. Um, and then we're doing a series of three classes for drop spindle, Yay. and I found a really nice young woman who because i don't i tried it oh you can do it I, I i've done it but it's mine's really ugly and i'm not qualified to teach it but kay katie is going to be teaching that and it's going to be on thursdays um july 27th august 3rd and august 10th from 4 to 6 p.m and we're going to include a drop spindle as part of your class that you get to take home and some roving and she is going to work with people for three Thursdays to get you. Yay. All comfortable I like, with I like, drop spinning. You like create, it? I like creating new spinners. It's just, an, it's, it's another, it's another vice. When I was learning at um, a fiber festival, everyone that was watching me, they're like, you're not going to want to do drop spindle for long. You want, you're going to want to switch to a wheel. Yeah. It's well, so much better. Drop, but... spin, drop spindle is the gateway drug. <laughs> is it? Yeah. You, you need the drop spindle to learn how to draft the yarn, uh, draft the fiber. Um, because in a wheel, you need to be doing, it's like rubbing your tummy and patting your head. You need to be using your feet and your hands at the same time. If you can get your hands working, then you put your feet into it and then you're on your own, you're, you're ready to go. Um, so it's good to have the drop spindle experience. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I went straight to the wheel. Um, my first yarn looked like dreadlocks. <laughs> it was hideous. Um, my 
my yarn in the beginning look like art yarn, which uh, it, you'll that's never, what mine looks like. You'll never make it again. It, it you as hard as you try, it's hard. But um, yeah, I love spinning. I just spend more time now knitting than I do spinning. So I am going to. I'm having tour de fleece. Are, are you done? No, one okay. more. One more. Um, Cesium trunk show. So, um, we have a date set for them to come. Uh, they're doing lots of fiber festivals. They're doing trunk mm -hmm. shows all around in the area. We love that they want to come out to see all of us. I love supporting local. Me you too. Know, keep it local. Me too. And they, we just have fabulous dyers in the area. And oh I'm so gosh. glad that they are willing to share their time with all of us. Absolutely. And bring it to you guys. So, yep. they're coming okay. to Lexington. And um, it's on August 4th and 5th that they're coming. And they're working on a summer colorway that's custom for our shop for our, another picture of House Mountain. So this was the spring one that I showed you before. Oh, you're going to do seasons. We're going to do seasons. One, we're going to do four a year. I might have to have one of each. Yeah. <laughs> so, more yarn. yeah, they are great. And I'm excited about that one. That's my last one. All right. So, um... I mentioned Tour de Fleece the entire month of July. Um, July 1st through the 30th <clears throat> is going to be Tour de Fleece. Um, and, you know, it's the, the Tour de France. The reason for this is the Tour de France is a cycling race. I'm a cyclist. Um, this started back in the early 2000s when they started Tour de Fleece. And it's just a way to challenge yourself. You make personal goals, personal challenges for spinning. Sometimes you, it may While be, riding a bicycle. No, <laughs> it may be, it's just a different kind of wheel, you know. It's, <laughs> oh, it, that's why. Yeah, okay. it's just a different kind of wheel. So the actual tour goes July 1st to the 23rd, and then the women's race, the femmes race, is the 23rd to the 30th. So I'm just doing it all month long. Every Saturday is spin-in Saturday. So um, just bring your wheel, bring your drop spindle, whatever time you want to come open 10 to 5 um if the weather is nice we'll sit out on the sidewalk i'll set up a canopy and you can sit out there uh you can bring it into the shop it's just a great way to to get some spinning in and, and be, do it socially um the the goal to set if you're just starting out 10 minutes a day 10 minutes a day and when i started that years ago 10 minutes I would look up and I had been spinning for an hour. It's just, you just get into that, that zone and that place and you, it, it's, it's therapy. There's Grackle. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Hello Grackle. Would you like to join us on our show? <laughs> the 7th through the 9th, Cesium's coming to my shop first. Oh. <laughs> So Don't Penny, sell all the good stuff. Uh, well, they make all kinds. So Penny and Cat will be there the 7th through the 9th. Um, on the 9th, um, we always do a Sunday social. So today is Sunday. We're doing the yarn bombing here. So this is the, the Knit and Coop Sunday social here at the uh, retreat site. Um, and so at the shop on the 9th, we're going to have an ice cream social. Ice cream and cesium yarn. Uh, yes. What so, more can you um, ask for? Come out. Uh, we, you know, bring Maybe a, I'll come out. Bring a topping. Bring a, your favorite ice cream. Uh, we'll have a good time. Uh, one to five on Sunday. The ninth. Um, then I'm gonna have because we're focusing on fiber and focusing on spinning. Um, I'm gonna have wool school. So the first wool school. Yes, they don't say that. Wool school. The first one <laughs> is gonna be fiber processing 101. We're gonna talk about how to if you've got a fleece, how to get that fiber processed and worked on. Uh, I'm working on right now the Cormo fleece that I bought. It's fabulous. Um, Where'd you buy it? I bought it from uh, Linnell. Um, I can't say your last name. Percy Shino in Bedford. I'm sorry, Linnell. If I mess up your name, I apologize. <laughs> but I got it. It's local. It's local fiber. It was a coated fleece, which means it's relatively clean. I've got a little bit of. Oh, so like the the sheep was wearing a coat. Yep. Okay. So that's a premium way to buy a fleece and it's got so much beautiful crimp on it i can't wait to start spinning it now having said that i didn't finish last year's merino fleece so i don't know what my goal is going to be for tour de fleece but i'm going to spend something every day 
And then we're gonna have a summer knit along. So we're, we've chosen the Cancun boxy cow, uh, top uh, as our pattern. I'm having to make some amendments to it and make it size inclusive. So um, yeah, call me at the shop if you wanna be involved and wanna find out what the deets are. Um, it's a good skill builder. But it's gonna run July 14th through August. And then the big thing, oh, wait a minute, one more thing. Pints and pearls. So I do pints and pearls. We meet at, we used to meet Look. at the, uh-oh, it's talking. running. Keep we talking. used to meet at the Old Salem <clears throat> Brewery. But on Wednesday nights, they started playing um, our music bingo. And the music bingo, oh, when you move, I got dark. <laughs> so the uh, music bingo they play really really loud and we can't have conversations so I decided to move it to um, various different eateries in downtown and kind of focus on what we have downtown um, this month uh, or in July this is June July is going to be at Gusto's Pizza mm -hmm. and that's not far from the shop so um, I'll have the calendar out next week I worked on it all day on Thursday it was long day anyway so um, that and then the big thing is what I'm getting ready for what I'm looking forward to next page next page next page August is the knit and poops birthday oh my god it's our birthday too we share birthdays almost what what day the first Oh, on four Mars years on the first. Congratulations! Oh, I made it through COVID. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Well, I, ha I mean, I'm starting the the ideas running around in my head. So, um, yeah, we'll have I'll have sales. I'll have uh, special little things. Nice. I think yeah. I'm gonna think of stuff to do yeah. too. So um, that's <clears throat> that's running around in my little head right now. And you know, sometimes they fly around the room. <laughs> I'll lose them. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy. Thank you. Thank you. Not belated. What's the opposite of belated? <laughs> Anticipatory <laughs> birthday. In advance. <laughs> All right. And it's also, well, it's also not the birthday. What's your birthday? Come on, everybody. We need to know. The seventh. <gasps> it's a big one. The 60? Uh-huh. <laughs> I was afraid. I, right. I was going to say it's 50. I don't, oh, oh thank you. <laughs> I don't mind saying how old I am. I've made it this far. I'm happy to be here. I'm older than you shop-wise, but younger than you age-wise. Yeah. <laughs> Had to point that out. Uh, thank you. I'm um, not the office tool now. <laughs> <laughs> mine is not, mine looking forward to is non-knitting related. Um, I'm going to go see my daughter in New Hampshire. I haven't seen her for a year. I'm gonna go to a thing called Jerry Jam. So I was in training last night with the band to go do something. Mm -hmm. That's like, a, I think a whole week or a weekend or something. Oh, wow. it, the tickets are expensive too. And I'm just going to, cause she's performing at it. My daughter sings, uh, writes songs, uh, plays the piano. That's awesome. And she's gonna be on the stage at Jerry Jam in New Hampshire. I forget what the name of the are city there any is. Are big names? Like big name names? I don't even know. Katie Boylan. <laughs> Cat boiling. She's cat now. So that's what I'm looking forward to the second week in July. Um, I'm still able to keep the shop open because I have fantastic volunteers and employees that will be covering that week for me. So I love them and I'm so happy that you guys don't have to see a closed sign while I'm gone. And the last thing we're both, both excited looking about. forward to retreat launch. Woohoo! So that's happening very soon. Yes. Um, Two weeks? Yes. I mean, the website, getting that up, getting the registration set. Um, so follow us on social media. It's going to be a blast, y'all. I will have a newsletter. If you want to be added to the distribution of the newsletter, um, you can find out that way. How else can they find out? I don't have a newsletter because admittedly, I'm horrible at it. I, I hate it. I know. I couldn't even I, get you to open the one. I hate mail check. I hate it. <laughs> So much. So, um, but there's other ways to keep yeah. uh, in the loop. Instagram, Facebook, websites. Both of us have it on our websites. Um, 
you know, not yet for me, but I will. Uh, well, all I have to do is hit the button on it as soon as you hit registration. I will hit the button okay. next month after. So you'll see it when it's when it's live. But yeah, that's going to be exciting. And it's going to be our third year, and it grows every year. Mm -hmm. And eventually, we want to take over the entire property. Um, we're under the pavilion right now where we've had our classes and our fiber market set up. Um, <clears throat> as we said before, we're going to be in the main lodge instead of at the small house. Um, the small house is just up the... It's not small. It, it's, it's not small, but... Um, We've been so <laughs> extremely lucky with weather yeah. these last two years. Eventually, that luck is going to run out. Because we've had a lot of it outside, and so we want to do something. That... <laughs> he said it's going to be El Nino year. Oh, so. my God. <laughs> last week, it started raining at noon on Monday. It did not stop until Thursday afternoon. Um, Salem had six-plus inches of rain over that those four days. And... I mean, you got to show them the creek too. Uh, yeah, I took videos <laughs> this morning of Craig's Creek, which looks like a river right now. Um, but it's right here that you can up. walk to. So if yeah. you're water people too and want to do a water activity while you're here, well, October, it's maybe be not. kind of chilly. Maybe not. <laughs> but it's a right pretty now, little. It's what, as nice as it, is, as it is right now, we could take a lawn chair down there and sit in the creek if it wasn't this high, sit in the creek and knit. Mm. which would be awesome i mean and just, just the sound of water is soothing yes i took a little video this morning i'll try, uh, add that to the end here um we've got uh hour and 10 minutes people will start showing up for the yarn bombing we're gonna wrap some trees um and have maybe it'll time. still be here in october so you'll be able to see it if you come to the retreat yeah i, I think that's the plan i think that's what she wanted we'll see it how it looks be. it starts to look dingy after a while i know but you know, <clears throat> it is in the woods, so it's not going to get that intense sun. Like it'll in have like a thousand spider nests in it. I'm not <laughs> taking that down. Maybe a bat. I don't mind a bat, but I don't like All right. spiders. I, On that note, little preacher dog, um, he's still here, and um, it maybe his last year. Don't end like that. No, I. <laughs> I just, I love him so much, and I just want to give him some love, and I'm going to put some pictures up. Because, okay. Because um, I, want, I want to be able to see pictures of him, so um, I don't mean to end that way, but maybe we can knit some kind of little preacher. Yeah, that's a great idea. To put up in October. Not because we think he's going to be dead. No, but <laughs> stop. You got to be crying. But no, just, just something to... Because Preacher is a cool dog. Yeah. He's he's going to be 15 in August. Mr. Rudy will be 15 in August. Mr. Rudy should be getting here soon because his daddy's going to bring him so that he can come hang out with us. You know, he is the um, premier person that everybody comes to see at the shop. You don't come see me. You come see Rudy. <laughs> he's prince. <laughs> All right, guys. It's been great. Um, if we have forgotten anything, sorry. Um, but like subscribe um give us some feedback tell us what you want to see what you you know we love doing these location shots um yeah this one over here wanted to do if like, anyone wants to video. get on the show with us we could have special guests yes so, so yes let's do that okay there comes a card all right guys um have a great day have a great sunday have a great rest of your week and we will see you next month Mwah. <laughs>